Over the last 15 years, we've seen so many improvements within the aquarium industry, from incredible filtration opportunities to endless design possibilities through the use of acrylic, to some pretty serious upgrades in aquarium decor. The innovators in this trade have come up with some incredible options for every shape and size fish tank that not only optimize the quality and overall look of the aquarium, but make the entire project budget friendly for the consumer. hobbyists out there today, it is well known that new aquariums must go through a cycling process in order to establish a biological bacterial bed within the filtration system that works to break down excessive organics and toxic wastes. Typically this cycling process can take anywhere from four to eight weeks, oftentimes leaving the new aquarium owners a little impatient and very anxious. Today I want to introduce you to a product that we support and use that lets us establish the biological filtration in a new aquarium at an accelerated rate, allowing us to moderately stock the aquarium with fish almost immediately. It doesn't matter if your aquarium is thousands of gallons or just a few dozen, the product does work. It's called Superbac, saltwater nitrifying bacteria, and it has done wonders for us here at Infinity Aquarium Design. It can also do the same for you. Take a look. Behind me is a 300 gallon cylinder aquarium. Inside is a handmade custom coral reef insert. What we're here to do today is stock the entire aquarium with a full population of fish. Typically what we would do is add starter fish, such as blue damsels, to the aquarium and let the water cycle for up to four to six weeks until we no longer had measurable levels of ammonia or nitrite. In order to achieve this safely, we're going to use a nitrifying bacteria called Superbac which will allow our biological filter to become established almost instantly. Superbac saltwater nitrifying bacteria contains an all-natural live beneficial bacteria proven to utilize both ammonia and nitrite as a primary energy source, thus removing these toxic organics from your aquarium system. One gallon treats up to 160 gallons of marine water. It also comes in a concentrated form that must be refrigerated, but allows you to dose larger volumes with a smaller quantity. So we've started our drip acclimation. As you can see, our fish are divided up into uh, different buckets where they're able to stay compatible during their acclimation. And we have three different airline tubings uh, that are dripping tank water into the buckets so they can adjust to the new salinities, pH, and obviously the temperature. Um, once our fish are acclimated, we can go ahead and add the nitrifying bacteria. However, there's a few key things we have to do to our filtration system before we can add the bacteria. So we're gonna take a walk down to our filtration room and I'm gonna show you a few things. So there's a few things you wanna to do to your filtration system before you add your nitrifying bacteria. First and foremost, you wanna turn off your protein skimmer. The protein skimmer removes dissolved organics from the water, but it also acts as a mechanical filter. You wanna turn it off so that it doesn't remove any free floating bacteria that you put into your system. Secondly, you want to turn off your ozone. If you're not using ozone, you may be using a UV sterilizer, in which case you want to turn that off as well. And lastly, you want to remove any chemical filtration from your system. Uh, we had a couple bags of Chemipure in our biological filters, so we simply took those out. In some cases, you may be using carbon. If you are, you want to remove that too. 
we're going to leave these components turned off for the first four to five days until our bacteria gets established in our biological filter, at which point we can turn everything back on. So we've spent about an hour and a half acclimating our fish. We're now ready to add our nitrifying bacteria into the aquarium. As I said, one gallon treats 160 gallons of marine water. Today we're going to use a concentrated form which needs to be kept refrigerated, but it allows us to dose a large volume aquarium with a smaller quantity. This 16 ounce bottle will treat all 300 gallons of our fish tank. So you've seen how we use this product on our new installations. However, there are several other uses for Superback and even far more product options for all different types of aquariums. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to email us. We're here to help. Otherwise, you can visit the manufacturer's website at natureback.com. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.